I coded Endermen differently in Minecraft by changing their behavior and adding important features. Maybe it's best if I just show you what we did. <laughs> so this must be how blocks feel. <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, we made it so that Endermen <laughs> can now pick up entities, something that they probably should have been able to do all this time. <laughs> How does it feel? I haven't tested this all the way, so I am very curious. Oh. oh. No way! <laughs> Dude, that's actually next level. What? <laughs> Imagine if a hardcore Minecraft was just this. It was, oh! Oh, they're both gone. <laughs> Pick it up. No. Pick up the cauldron. <laughs> Pick, oh. Which one of these will be the chosen one? Pick up the cauldron. Pick up the, ca not me! Pick up the cauldron! <laughs> Are you the chosen one? No. Whoa. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something is not there. <laughs> okay, so what I'm trying to show is that they will hold a cauldron over their head to protect themselves from the rain, and it does actually fill up, as you can see. The problem is that <laughs> they keep picking each other up. Uh, so this this might act oh this might actually be a problem. This is an albino Enderman. A very scary version of the existing Enderman. This guy packs oh. <laughs> this guy packs quite the punch, but he has a very unique behavior when he hits you. So let me just give you an example. Yep, he packs a punch and when you get hit, you get teleport. Yep. Oh, too scary. Oh. I really like the idea of a unique form of Enderman that's just a little bit more powerful than your typical Enderman. So as I said before, now that I'm wearing diamond, I can explain it. Whenever you get hit, you actually get teleported around. This guy has so much more health and does a lot more damage. So if you see an albino Enderman, don't look at him because, well, yeah, trust me, it won't end well. We all know this guy, right? Oh, you stink! Probably one of the most annoying mobs in Minecraft. Well, maybe not as annoying as a phantom. What would you do if I told you we took the wandering trader and we made it an Enderman? Let me introduce you to the traveling Enderman, a new very special but rare type of Enderman that spawns in the overworld. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful sleeping bag, a backpack, and a very stylish scarf. But it's actually got a really unique feature, and that is, oh, uh, well, <laughs> come back. Where are you going? No, I need you. Come back. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's, uh, okay. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. Stay there. <sighs> okay. And he's still running away. <laughs> All right, let's try that again, shall we? This, of course, is the traveling Enderman, and as you can see, they actually trade blocks for items as opposed to emeralds for items. And in this case, these blocks are considered very valuable and more rare from the rare areas of the overworld. For example, mycelium, then you've got prismarine. It basically encourages the player to go around and explore to find these blocks, making it just a little bit more fun as opposed to just collecting a couple of emeralds. And in some cases, oh, come back. Oh, this is so much more difficult than I thought it would be. Don't run, don't teleport. No, no. And in some cases, it's very rare, but you'll actually find unique trades. In this case, we've got a very special in-themed music disc created by Ludocrypt, who helped me develop this mod for the video. And of course, an Enderman scarf, which is the exact scarf you could see on their head. And it actually has some really cool functionality. Where do they go? <laughs> Ah, uh, if only I could buy an Enderman scarf. Oh, there we go. So, why exactly is this a special item? Well, let me throw away my head first. <laughs> As you can see, we can actually wear the scarf. But it actually gets even cooler than this. 
Probably one of the coolest features is that it allows you to enter the most cinematic mode and experience that you've ever been in in Minecraft. All right, but yeah, they actually, <laughs> it has its own overlay, as you can see, and it prevents you. You know what? Maybe I show you. Seeing as the Enderman Scarf is a very rare item to actually obtain, it's got a really cool functionality, and that is, when you're wearing it, you can basically look at all of the Enderman you want, but as soon as you take it off, well, that's a different story. Oh, it's always so much scarier when they disappear. All right, Enderman. Where are you? <laughs> and of course, you know we couldn't forget about the customization. That's right. You can use a crafting table along with any combination of dyes to make your favorite colors in Minecraft. As you can see, we can mix and match various different dyes, and it actually retains the color. So you can go and be stylized and look adorable amongst all of the Endermen. Ah, they're gonna be jealous. They're gonna be so jealous. All right, I think it's about time we move on to more important features. Hold up, before we continue with the video, I'm gonna release this mod as soon as my Twitter gets 15,000 followers. It's currently 2,500 away, so follow now and help us reach that goal so that you can download the mod. I know what you're thinking. An Enderman scarf could be a little OP. So I have another idea that I think could be really, really nice to get Enderman off your back. So as you can see here, I'm being chased currently, but it's, oh, and I've been picked up. Oh, oh God. Oh no. Oh, they're all just holding each other. Okay. So as you can see, you can actually distract them using thrown blocks. It's just really hard right now. Okay, let's try this one more time. No, no, please, no. take the blocks, take. Okay, there we go, you see it works. Oh, this is too difficult. <laughs> you know, it would help if there weren't a billion Endermen, so let's just try out here, shall we? <laughs> I mean, by now you get the point. If you're being chased, you can throw down a couple of blocks and it'll distract them. Not every time, but it does sometimes. So it's a great way to maybe escape an Enderman. So yeah, and now, now, oh, I have more, I have more, take it. Okay, time for something very, very important. A feature that I think should have been in Minecraft from the very beginning. Because after all, I think it only makes sense. There we go! Yeah! Look at him go! This is Minecraft. This is my reality now. Oh, this is just great. This is, this is my favorite thing. Okay, I think we end on a simple note. This is another feature that probably should have been in Minecraft since the Enderman and the Endermite were added to the game. <clears throat> yeah, this is, yeah, everything about this is probably just, pro yeah, um, I actually thought it would be kind of cool, but, uh, <laughs> okay, so jockeys, um, they exist in Minecraft, you'll see zombies riding chicken, and of course skeletons riding spiders, why not Enderman riding Endermite? I mean, it makes sense, I don't know if the little guy like, oh, wait a minute, no way, wait, Oh, oh, okay, I'm probably as curious as you. I just want to see exactly how many Endermen they'll hold. Um, I think it's very important, and this is probably something we're going to go over in the behind the scenes, so make sure to check out that video pinned in the comments of this video. Okay, yep, yep, one more. Oh, right now you're at like three. I, I know you can do more. There we go, four, four, a little bit more. Oh, 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 this is art. Like, this, I'm actually, oh. Oh, oh! This is actually just art, let's be honest. Da, 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 da. I am the Enderman Whisperer. Hey, let go, man. Well, all right. <laughs> Honestly, there's just something absolutely insane about this. When I set out to code Enderman differently, I was, you know, focused on adding new features. But this is all I needed. This alone makes Enderman one of my favorite mobs in Minecraft. Could you imagine beating Minecraft with this? I beat Minecraft while being held by an Enderman. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh, so good. Ah, farewell, my friend. Farewell. That is basically all of my ideas. But before you go, there are a couple of smaller details that we need to go over. <laughs> you can't blame me. It's really cool. 
Also, as a side note, you'll notice the Enderman Scarf doesn't actually provide any sort of defense. That was kind of our way of balancing it to make sure that while yes, you kind of do get the perk of being invincible to all of the Endermen, you don't actually get any protection in the process. The original goal for this video was entirely to make the Endermen just better than they actually currently are, and a lot of it kind of turned into a joke. But there are actual uses behind some of the features. Trying to get them to grab this cauldron is one of the most impossible things I think I've ever had to do. There we go. So, uh... This is actually such a cool feature, if you ask me. The idea that they'll hold a cauldron above their head to protect themselves? I mean, come on! This is next level. This is just... Oh. And of course, the functionality where you're being chased by Endermen and dropping blocks, I mean, that's just something that is such a simple change, but it's very effective. But th I mean, this also, like, it, what can I say? This, this whole mod is just something else. Oh god, oh, here, take them! Take the blocks! The albino Enderman isn't as strong as I initially made it out to be. It is stronger than a normal Enderman, but only by about 50%, oh jeez, 50%, but it does do a lot of damage, as you can see. One hit, and that's five hearts. And I'm in normal mode. Ooh, please, no! Oh, oh! Also, I would imagine they would be about as rare as a blue axolotl in terms of their spawning. But that being said, if they are that rare, what do you think they should drop? Let me know in the comments down below. Ah, not again! And of course, that brings us back to none other than the Traveling Enderman, which really is traveling, as you can see. I love this idea, and I gotta give a huge shout out to Extra Ram, because this was their original concept and even their original design. They let me use it for this video, and for that I am very, very thankful, because this is just a beautiful creation. But I really like the idea that it promotes the idea to explore the world in order to actually do trades. And as you can see, there's a creeper head. These are all hypothetical, but I mean, you get the idea. They would be rare loot in exchange for more rare blocks. Plus, I mean, come on. Them trading for blocks? That's just amazing. And of course, the best for last. Oh! <laughs> he just can't stop. The party never ends. All right. I know. I can't get enough of this either. Look, they're staring at each other. Dance contest! All right, let me know what you think of all of these ideas in the comments down below, and also what you think of this format. I decided to show off some of the smaller details at the end of the video in sort of a recap. Hopefully you liked it, and of course if you didn't, or if you did, let me know in the comments below. But that being said, I mean, just this is just such an amazing feature. I think we, we need a petition. Let's go!